Welcome to today's training. My name is Ali Walawaji Ali, and today we are going to be talking about the 12 things that may be hurting your chiropractic website, as um, you may see. So, as a chiropractor, you want to represent your business effectively using a website that does not only tell your potential customer about your business but also convinces them to patronize your business so we are going to be looking at 12 problems that may be hurting your chiropractic website and we will look at some websites that uh, we've seen some of these uh, issues on and then um, how they could actually find solution to rectify these issues. So the first thing is we have to understand that creating a website for your business is not how far but how well because a lot of people just want to create website for their business probably because they heard that their competitors are doing the same and they felt maybe they felt they don't really need a professional website thinking that when they when you hear a professional website maybe they think it means that the website is being designed in a flamboyant kind of manner but the thing about a professional website is all about creating a website that is done properly well with all the sections all the uh, parts of the website being done well so it's like having uh, an office you want to create build an office and you are thinking what we just need is an office and then you go look for someone that is a mediocre in terms of building construction and the person decides to put the toilet of the office right you know in front of the building so you can just you can just imagine that that why would the toilet be in front of the building so it's the same thing when you are trying to build your own website probably by yourself or you are trying to use a platform all these drag and drop platforms where they just tell you you don't need a designer you don't need whatever you can just come to their own website and they already have all these things that you need and you just drag and drop them and you have your website built this is done the wrong way it's like you as a chiropractor you know having a client that says i don't need chiropractor or a potential client that you talk to and if he tells you i don't need a professional chiropractor i can tell my wife or my husband to help me massage my body and i'll be well or somebody says i've been massaging my body myself you know for years and i've never really had issues so you are the professional that will have to convince the person that the person has been doing it the wrong way because there is absolutely no way the person's spouse is going to massage or correct the dysfunctions in the person's body by just massaging the person, you know, in uh, a, in in, a, in an unprofessional way. So we have to understand that it is not how far. It's not by you just say I have a website, or you say we have we have a marketing team. But your marketing team, do they really understand the basic things and the core things when it comes to building a website? We are going to look at websites today in this training, and I'm going to show you some of those things that you you wonder, wow, so these things really mean a lot when it comes to the conversion uh, of the website. And it's most of these things that really uh, helps a website to give you a reasonable ROI. Because you spent money on your website design, so you should have a reasonable ROI on your website design. But because you just had the website on your own, you're probably thinking it's the ads you are running, it's the you know the promo you are doing that's not making sense. Meanwhile, it's your website itself that is not convincing enough to convert your potential customers. So without wasting much of our time, let us move into the training proper. So the first thing we are going to look at is the effective use of your website homepage. How effectively are you using your website? Your website homepage is like the front of your office, the 
approach of your office. Remember that because you want people to be impressed by what you do, there are some certain elements that you make sure that you have right in front of your office. And these are the things that you have to look at when you are also creating the home page of your website. So let's go, let's go take a look at some websites and see um, what their home page looks like. So we have this um, NYC Chiropractic Solution website. Let me quickly go check some other websites. So we have a few websites to look at. So now the home page of this website, the first thing you see is a display of some of their equipment, of their offices, you know, now if you look at this first picture, we're actually looking at, you know, their beds, how their beds look like, and um, there, is, there is basically nothing showing us, nothing saying anything about them, like introducing them to us. So we, we see, the first thing we see is the beds, no text, nothing, you know, and then we see booking, book online. You know, powered by ZogDoc. Then we see phone number A. Then we see patient's choice winner 2015. So we need we need a text that first says welcome, that gives us an introduction of what the uh, business is all about. We only have it images here. Then after the image, someone tell they tell us to book online, and then they give us a phone number, and then down here. They say chiropractic in Midtown, New York. So then they say suffering from low back pain, neck pain, head pain, head pain. We have a solution. This is a New York chiropractic located just now. One of those things you have to look at is right now I'm putting my the screen uh, brightness of my website to the highest, and you can see that there is a there is a kind of problem between the background of the website and the text itself. We are going to talk about that, but right now, let's just look at some of those things we want to look at on the elements that we have on the home page. So, on the home page here now, when we are scrolling down, we see we have a sidebar here, and the sidebar has uh, their Facebook page, 271 likes, So, which is not that impressive, but at least maybe for Propactors, it's very impressive. So, we can see we have this. Then here we have followers on social media. And then we have, we are the best chiropractors in the areas, New York, Midtown, Manhattan. Then Dr. Marshall Chiropractor in Midtown, New York, specializing in low back pain. Then we have special offer, 3D patient. So, so we cannot really deduce anything, um, let me say anything convincing here on this home page. So it means this home page is practically um, a waste of what we call the virtual estate of this company. So the home page is practically a waste of the virtual estate of this company. The basic things that are supposed to be on the home page, which are the text that introduces the company, um, the, uh, the, the owner of the company, the team, what they do, and stuff like that it has been wasted there's really nothing that's relating to these things i just said on this home page so you need to first understand that your home page has to be where people first meet your business and get to be interested in what you do get to be interested in what they don't have to start going to our team treatment patients before they can actually get an idea of exactly what kind of value they are going to get from your business. So, you know, scattering all these things, they're like, here now where you have this um, patient's choice winner, this is like a certification, like a recognition. It should be part of your own page, but it should probably be somewhere down here that would have its section of its own. It can actually even go along with the testimonials of your potential clients. Imagine, look at here, this is supposed to be testimonials of your customers. Look at where they have the testimonials and testimonials is one of the most important things you should have on your own page on your own page so this is one of those problems that we have 
you know, with people that don't really know what uh, a website uh, design uh, or a properly done website that convinces and converts their potential customers should look like. So, and this is always a problem that we see all the time, especially when we have the business owners trying to build their own website or when they just go to places like Fiverr and they pay, you know, you know, whoever to just do their website for them. So another thing is, the second thing is proper annotations for testimonials. Just like I've said here, you can see the testimonial here. Now, this doesn't really look, you know, okay. This testimonial here does not really look okay because how will you have a testimonial be below here and you have this, in fact, instead of having this, it's better off not to have any icon that has an empty image. Because this practically is telling us that you have testimonials here, but your testimonials have faceless patients. And that is really a slap upon the authenticity, the originality of these testimonials you are displaying here on your website. So if we look at another website here, you can see here, this one, uh, this client has, you know, client testimonials. And then we have Beth L, Teresa R. You can see Phil M, Lisa L. It doesn't really tell us that your testimonial is from original client. What is Phil L, Alisa L? Does it really make, you know, a lot of sense when it comes to you displaying the right kind of... Um, testimonials for your business so we have to look at some of these things and understand that when you want to display testimonials it has to be something that really makes you know a lot of sense in terms of uh you showing now look at this now this is actually better pam ballard rachel tolly you know this is actually better than you know having all these uh short names on your website uh, testimonial. So you have to understand that there need to be proper annotations for your website testimonial. The third thing is dedicated blog post or articles page. Dedicated blog post or articles page. Now, if we look at this website, okay, let's look at this one. This one has a blog. We click on blog and it shows us a blog page where there are different blog posts. So for massage therapy service, you make you feel young again, uh, trouble with weight loss. Now this is done properly well. This is done properly well. So this is exactly what we are talking about when we are talking about, you know, having a properly done um, blog page. When we look at the other websites, let's see if. Um, this one has a blog. Services, contact us, about us. They don't even have a blog page. They, they are not... Okay, let's see. So these are actually normal pages. They don't have a blog. This website, this corporate business doesn't have a blog. So those are those, some, of, those are some of these things. Now, the essence of having a blog, a blog is... Um, a dedicated page where you create articles and um, write-ups that educate, orientate, and um, give the right information about your services to your potential clients. So it kind of opens the eyes of the, your potential clients to the things that could be achieved with your service and the things that you actually do. So the same like in this one, like three simple tips for happy and healthy all the day. Um, PEMF and infrared therapy services in Drapa, South Lake City. Stuff like this. So like this one is about like, is like they are using this to advertise their business. Why they are using this to um, educate their potential customers. So you need to have what we call a dedicated blog post or articles page. Because this is, these are the things that you post on your website that you can also share on your social media platforms and you can also request that your customers your present customers the existing customers should also help you to share on social media so your customers can even ask 
questions, specific questions why they come to you for visitation or for um, um, therapy. And then you use those questions to create articles and blog posts and put it on your website. And then you can tell them to, because when they ask you those questions, you can tell them that, okay, the question I'm trying to ask is something that's elaborate. So you are going to create an article or a blog post for it later today or during the week and then you send them the link to go access that blog post and article and that is also a way of driving traffic to your website another thing is removal of empty sections if you have sections that does not make sense on your website it doesn't really like an example is this latest tweets there are no tweets this person doesn't have probably doesn't have a twitter account or does not know how to add twitter you know um a short code to our website and there's little so why do you have this here why don't you just delete it why don't you just delete it so when you don't need something it's better you just have it deleted instead of having it there as um, one of the sections of your website meanwhile it's not functioning at all so you need to understand that the things that are not functioning should be removed or website just like on this website on this particular website you can see when you have the link, when I when I put this my cursor on this YouTube link, if you come at the bottom left side here, there's there's an a, there's an a link as it's going to show. So if I click on this YouTube link, it's going to bring me back to the website. While it's supposed to actually take me to their YouTube page, and it's mostly because people that have this kind of website or these clients or these website owners don't really understand how to do these things but they probably like i said before they probably are the ones handling their website in-house or they gave their website to their cousin or their nephew or someone that they know that doesn't really know the um the, the necessities of building a great website a great marketing uh, uh asset for business so you can see here there is no link to what's what's G plus. There's, there's no Google Plus is not even existing anymore. There's no link anywhere to Facebook. There's no link anywhere to Twitter. And these things are here. So these are sections that are empty, that are useless, that are not supposed to be on your website. If you want to have them on your website, then you need a professional to help you do what to help you create these things and have them properly done on your website so the next thing is proper identification of your company team proper identification of your company team so let's go check our three uh sample website that we'll be looking at so on the home page of this website let's go check the home page of all the websites on the home page of the website we have happy 20 years dr smallwood now is this website meant to celebrate whatever they are doing within the company itself? You know, they are congratulating Dr. Smallwood. Who is Dr. Smallwood? If I'm a potential client to this particular chiropractic website or this chiropractic business, who is Dr. Smallwood? Why am I concerned about Dr. Smallwood? What why should Dr. Smallwood's congratulation be here on this, you know, on the first thing I see on this website? Does this really make any business sense, putting this right in front of the website? So, instead of you telling me what to do, instead of you welcoming me to your website, you know, we have, you know, committed to opening a unique chiropractic clinic, clinic um, senior expertise, the best chiropractic care since 2000, okay, a practice build on honesty and integrity, what do i what what do i gain from you know deciding to work with you deciding to patronize you so you have welcome dr smallwood and then chiropractic uh, sports injuries work injuries you offer various services you are not telling me exactly what i am going to benefit from working with you you're just telling me what you do right telling me what you do then patient testimonial about us then um choose our location closest to you and 
this, this, we are going to talk about this. We are going to talk about this. Having everything scattered all over the place. But mainly what we are looking at right now is we are looking at we want to, you to identify your community. Who are the people I'm going to be working with? Who are the people that's going to, you know, take care of me when I come to your website? And the first, let me see, one, section one, section two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to scroll down to the ninth section of this website before I could see meet the team. Before you could even introduce me to who actually I'm going to probably meet when I come to your your business, one of your um, branches. You, I had to scroll through nine sections of your website. So this is actually a no-no. This is actually a no-no. I am supposed to get introduced to those that I want to talk to, those that are going to take care of me as soon as I get into your website. So these are one of those things that a lot of chiropractic uh, websites uh, really lack. And um, they don't, if, I, if we come to this other website too, like I said before, this one, the home page, then book, book, book. This one doesn't even have anybody that I'm going to see. There's no, there's no meet the team. I have to click on this to go meet the team. I have to click on the next page to go meet the team. So when I get to the next page, okay, wh where is the team? Then I see just the, I see Chiropractor. Then Dr. Marshall, Marshella Thomas. And this is the only person I'm seeing here. Where are the other members of the team? They are nowhere to be found. And the funny part about this particular website was that I had to come to, you know, um, patients under gallery. This particular website, I had to come to under gallery. And um, I had to scroll through the gallery. I actually just came to the gallery and was scrolling through the gallery because the gallery was just displaying images. And it was in the gallery that I was scrolling through that I eventually met the team. So this is actually the team running the NYC Chiropractic Solutions business. Just imagine, I had to go through four pages and then scroll through the fourth link in the fourth page to actually access and meet the team. So this is, this is actually, you know, a complete no-no. And if it's left to me, the owner of this website really needs a professional to help them undo the complete redesign of this website. To help them undo the complete... If, I, if we are going to undo the design of this website, we are going to do a complete overhaul of the website so that the website is going to be done in such a way that anybody that comes into the website, the first page itself is going to be a marketing uh, uh, a marketing page that sells you directly. You don't have to scroll through all these things before they can actually see, you know, who your staff is. And then it's until they scroll through before they can actually see how, you know, it really doesn't make right business sense. So you can see that there are some of you. So as I'm showing you some of these things, you can also go to your own website and try to see if you are doing these things right or if these things need to be done, you know, to be redesigned. Your website needs to be redesigned completely because these are the things that are probably hurting your website. The next is font color application on images. Now, this is another very serious issue when it comes to people building websites, especially people building websites on their own. Look at this. The error images, the slide on this website is a complete, look at the text, look at this text. Look at this text. Look at how this text would have looked like if, if this text was done with a blue color on a white background. Look at how it would have really shown. But look at what we are looking at right now. You know, white on white. Ah, this is a complete no-no when it comes to business, uh, when it comes to designing a properly looking business website. And the same thing um, with, let's see this other website. 
if so we, we have discovered that a lot ah the same thing with this website so they just have these images here and you know have this white you know text on their website and it doesn't really look you know doesn't look professional at all look at this ah this is a no no this is a no no so looking at all these things you will know that even if these chiropractic um businesses actually gave their their website design to a professional uh company a, a an agency doing website design it means the agency they gave their job to are uh, really not doing a good job they're really not doing a good job so the next thing we are going to look at is image sizing and correlation now let's go check out our website so here we are looking at how they actually arrange the images on the website look at here now we have these images properly done they were actually done well and you know they were arranged well okay now the, these images were not done well at all the normal thing that should have been done was to adjust these pictures these two pictures and then make it the size of this one so that we have it looking like this you can you can see that in a, in kind of alignment in terms of correlation this looks much more better this looks much more better than this one where we have the images not aligning so all these things are parts of ux where we talk about user interface and user experience these are part of user experience that is very important when it comes to web design you know when we're talking about the colors also look at putting white on a gray color it's 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 not it's not i don't know what to say and here you know having the text here you have to squeeze stress your eyes before you can even read the text here it doesn't really you know it's it shows that the people that actually built this website do not know um much about um design they don't know much about um design rules principles and stuff like that they just want to drag and drop stuff and say they have a website and you know send people to their website so look at this down look at this like this page what i talk, talked about the last time this particular website has links to facebook you know has a links to twitter and has a, a link to their instagram account so this actually makes sense here but doesn't make any sense here when they have this latest tweet and they couldn't actually put uh the uh the tweet uh, plugin here the twitter plugin here so we also have to look at that you know organizing your images properly and making them correlate the right way so the next thing is logo size adjustment we have to look at how are the logos being you know displayed on the website now look at this logo this logo is very big and because of the largeness of this logo you can see that there is a lot of space the header the header section the navigation of the header section is consuming a lot of space on this website display a lot of space so this logo has to be reduced in such a way that it reduces the space that it is consuming look at this one this logo is very much okay but the space of this navigation doesn't have to be this big when this logo is like this they they should have reduced the space of this navigation but it might be because the person that actually did this you know it's probably through a dragon you can see website created by inet media limited so probably the the media limited that did this um couldn't or don't understand that the more of the website or, or let me say the virtual space you are taking off the exact things that people need to access on the website the more you are killing the user experience of the website so these things has to be looked at and has to be look the same thing with this uh, particular website the the this is taking too much is taking too much of the header space and because everybody now wants their header to be sticky header it's it's really affecting uh the amount of information that you can consume at a time when you are looking at 
the website. In fact, like this page, this particular um, image is supposed to contain a one-time view, a one-time view instead of uh, me having to scroll down and seeing half of the image at the top and half at the bottom. It doesn't really make any reasonable uh, design sense. So the next thing we have to look at is body text, fonts, and color. I've talked about a little bit about that, and um, you can see here putting um, a gray color for the text on a white background. It's really strange. Look at how very simple this is to read, and look at how stressful this is. You know, kind of to the eyes. So all these things has to be, look at how these ones are very simple to read. Even with the text here that is even small, you can still read it, even though the text here is supposed to be a little bit bigger. But you can read it better compared to this, compared to this. And the same thing is on all these websites, all these chiropractic websites. They are doing the same thing. Their, their designers are doing the same thing, stressing out the eyes of their potential customers and giving them, you know, problem when it comes to them reading information on their website. All these things has to be rectified. Even if you have it on your website, you need to rectify it on your website. Proper sectioning and alignment. This is also very, very important. Very, very important. So if we look at this website, we can see we have sectioning here. But the thing is this. We offer various wellness principles or dis um, disciplines. So I am chiropractic clinic acupuncture. Now, if you want to section this properly, what this person is supposed to do, what this website is supposed to look like is, this we offer various wellness principles. It's supposed to be an header here, a section of his own here. And then this text, this text here is supposed to be under that section. And then this chiropractic acupuncture master therapy can actually be under the section. Let me show you um, a... A website, a, a sample website. A sample website that we created for chiropractors that will show you if you want to see an idea, if you want to have an idea of what your website should probably look like. And all you have to do is just adjust some of those things. You need to now if you look at here, you can see um the logo here, just like what I said, the logo, the text here, you can see it's not taking a lot of the page. And the first approach, you can see that I have strengthening your new muscular skeletal system. This is a message that is passed directly to the client. You are telling the potential customer to strengthen their neuromuscular, whatever, skeletal system. And how do they, they should schedule an appointment now. So you are telling them to do something and you are giving them a call to action immediately, immediately. Then the next thing is, ready to finally beat the pain. You know, then we say, Dr. Dean Petrovic and his team can help you get your pain. We are telling you exactly what we can help you do. The value you can get from us, the offer we are giving to you, and what you can, you know, um, the advantage, the merit of approaching us to help you with your pain, and how we can help you with your pain. And then the next thing is meet the owner of this chiropractic you know, practice. A little introduction about the owner and the schedule and appointment. Then the next thing is meet the team. Who are the other people that you know help the owner to make the business uh, a reasonable business, a, a, a profitable, a successful business? We, we, we introduce them. Then we ask, why choose us? What are the things we do that will make you choose us to be your chiropractic, your chiropractors? So then we said, with over 20 years in the industry, we talked about the experience we've had and the things we have done. And then we mentioned we are experts in acupuncture, massage therapy. You can see that every part of this web page, of this homepage, was done properly well, aligned well, you know, systematically done in such a way that you read the text easily from a distance and you will also see the things that are on the um, website easily, easily, easily. 
Now you can see here office hours and location. So office hours and location, you can now have the images of your office. I just put an image here, but you can have several images. You can now have um, a carousel of images, an image gallery of your company right here. Office hours and location. There you have your opening hours of your office. Then you have the Google Map location of your office, and you still have this schedule and appointment. Then you scroll down and you say patient testimonials. Then you can have a slide of the patient testimonials. And in the last section, you have the articles. The articles is what is going to link to the page, your blog page, your blog page for your website. So if I click on this article, it is going to open the blog page for the website. So you can see these are your these are blogs and you can see related posts here and if i click on this blog if i click on that blog it is going to take me to the page where they are where we have several articles you can see here now several and this is exactly what your website should look like this is exactly what your chiropractic website should look like you know now white space and negative spacing now if you look at this you know this sample website i'm showing you you can see that it was done properly well and if you compare it to all these other websites you can see the the, the spacing is not in in flow the spacing is not in flow you can see there's a lot of space here and there's a little bit space here then so the the spacing within the sections is supposed to really make a lot of sense look at the spacing here and then look at the spacing here right then look at the spacing here then there's this large space that doesn't really make any sense in terms of design then there's this extraordinary large space you know then there's this confusion here where we have you know all these buttons scattered all over the place so all these things has to be done in a way that you know aligns properly look at this space here aligns properly in terms of design it has to be appreciated when someone comes to your website the person should be able to appreciate your website because when they come to your chiropractic uh, uh practice your business location there you want them to appreciate your business and you arrange things properly well you do things fantastically well but your website is not showing us exactly how professional your business looks your website is just showing us that it was not done you know the way that it's supposed to be done properly if i look at the, there's another issue here 2019 you know copyright 2019 it means this website has probably been updated since 2019 and this business is, is existing and this is actually a very big business with three branches but their website has been you know has not been properly taken care of and a website should be an asset for the business where the business will actually make more money by bringing it by bringing in potential clients through the website so the next thing is proper elements arrangement just like i've said before if we look at all these websites this one you know things were not arranged properly it's just like everything is being slapped up everywhere and the things that are supposed to be in the first page are probably left in the third fourth page the 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 information that is not supposed to be everywhere is being slapped around everywhere and you know if you really look at some of these websites you realize it, it's it's there, there are a lot of chiropractic websites i have seen that have the same thing the same issues it is you know the same uh the same you know errors and you'll be thinking oh these these sites are sites that are actually done you know well from some perspective but from from the perspective of design perspective of um putting things in their proper places they are not being done well at all they are not being done well at all look at this website this website is, is like it is like a blog it's not it's not even looking professional at all it's like a blog it's not a website that has been done well 
In fact, I've even talked to, I, 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 I think I talked to the owner of this website and he probably told me that they have a marketing team and they're not interested in anybody helping them with their website. And the website is not really uh, much to talk about. This website is also a website that uh, the owner is a fantastic person. I really, I really uh, respect him, but the website is really not, is really not a website that looks professional. It doesn't look modern and it doesn't really portray the uh the the authenticity the, the 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 professionalism of the owner of the website itself does it but you can see that all those things we've mentioned this website has actually failed woefully with all those issues we've mentioned in this particular training in this particular training so when all these things are being met when all these criteria are being met in on your website in designing your website you will realize that your website is going to give you a better ROI in terms of converting your traffic, cold traffic, warm traffic, people that already know you on social media, they want to go check out your website and see the things that you offer. If you do it the right way, if you do it the proper way, if you do it the way that is going to be appreciated by your potential clients, your potential customers, then your website is going to be an asset for you instead of just being something that you just have and is not really making any sense and that's probably the reason why you are insisting that you don't want anybody to do anything to the website anymore because the website is not giving you anything and it's probably because the website was not done the proper way from the very start so what's next what are the things that you need to do next what is the next step you need to take for a free website audit and action plan we offer free website audit and action plan go to dynamoprofits.com slash chiro website audit this is the page you will go to this is the page you will go to So when you come to this web page, all you have to do is just fill the form. Very simple form, your name, your first name, your last name, your email, your website link. And you click and you, you know, confirm that you are not a robot. You are not a robot and they click on audit your website. Once you do that, we are going to go and take a look at your website and we are going to do a proper analysis of your website and show you the potential things you need to change you can see in fact with this training if the owners of this website are uh, were lucky enough to have access to this training and they are open to improving their business website I am sure that they will probably go talk to whoever they want to talk to to help your design or they can come to us or they will come to us to help them redesign and work on their website. So this is the next thing you have to do. And then once you do it, you are done with your business. Your business is going to really uh, take a leap and improve. So thank you so much for watching this training. There are going to be some other training that will be coming up with that you're gonna be getting access to in this series and uh, I hope you really enjoyed this training and I look forward to having you um, apply for the website audit and then we can get in and help you to make a beautiful looking website. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.